Alright you guys, today we're going to be talking about a new technique that I haven't covered on this channel before called the MILD, the Mnemonic Induction of Lucid Dreams, or Mnemonic Initiated Lucid Dreams, the MILD technique for lucid dreaming. Now this technique is aimed at beginners, okay, and it's actually very easy to do, um, and I want to explain it like this. So if you imagine that um, your, your ability to have a lucid dream is like a points system, so each thing that you do, that I'm going to explain in a minute, will sort of give you more points on your scorecard. Now stay with me for a moment, I know this might be a bit weird. Um, so imagine that, say, reality checks, they give you, say, five points on your scorecard, right? Uh, they increase the chances of you having a mild and mnemonic induced lucid dream. Um, and then if you do another step, so if you do, repeat mantras to yourself every night, I will lucid dream. I will be able to control my dreams, that's a, a mantra or an affirmation, that will give you another five points. And the idea is that the more of these things you do, the higher up the scorecard you'll, you'll go, and therefore the more likely it is um, that you'll have a lucid dream using a mild. So it's not necessarily one particular technique, there are not necessarily exact steps to do it, um, and in that way it's very similar to the dial, the dream initiated lucid dream, uh, which is a focus on a much more natural technique um, and the idea is that over time you build up the skills uh, and you naturally have more and more of these types of lucid dreams and they become like um, a habit okay <clears throat> so especially as um, as you learn more about it and as you become more skilled and experienced you'll have more and more natural lucid dreams and a lot of people um, you may have even had some friends that say they can do this will say that they don't need to learn how to lucid dream because they naturally do it anyway, right? And these are very lucky people who happen to have these skills already. Anyway, let's get into it. So in order to have a mild, there are four main areas you need to focus on. Uh, maybe we'll include a fifth one at the end. We'll see how much time we've got. So the first one is your affirmations. So every day, uh, and you can do this throughout the day in the same time that you would do reality checks or you can do it as soon as you wake up and then it's just before you go to sleep you're going to repeat to yourself affirmations so what I mean by that is a sentence or a phrase um, that you're going to say over and over again to yourself and eventually it will sink into your subconscious mind and manifest itself in your dreams so some example affirmations would be something like I will lucid dream tonight I will be able to control my dreams Tonight when I'm dreaming, I'll realise that I'm dreaming. You get the idea. Anything that's going to help you become lucid. And you might be the best judge of this, actually. Uh, you might say things in a different way that I say things. So I might say, for my affirmation, I'll become lucid tonight. Whereas you might phrase it differently. You might say, tonight I'll control my dreams. Or I'll realise I'm dreaming. Okay? So whatever you would, however you would describe it to yourself, when you have your internal conversations in your head, because everyone has different different conversations, you know, you um, you might phrase it differently. So say whatever feels natural to you, and that will be your your affirmation. So repeat it to yourself again and again, uh, and you can do this either just before you go to bed at night, or as soon as you wake up, or throughout the day, or all three. All right, you might even want to do all three because it will be more effective. So that's the first step. That's like step one of having a, a mild, right? So, number two, visualization and imagination. Now this is the probably uh, the most effective of the four, I would say. And in this step, you're going to, you're going to imagine exactly what the lucid dream is going to be like. Now you can do this just before going to sleep or throughout the day, as I said. Um, the most effective time is just before you go to sleep, right? So you're going to lay there, you're going to relax all your muscles, you're not going to move around, make sure you've, you know, you've used the toilet, you've had a drink, or you're ready for bed, that's what I'm saying. Make sure you're in bed, ready to sleep. Uh, and just lay there and visualise the dream. So what, what do you want to dream about? Where will you be? How will it feel? Right? Maybe you'll be on an island, maybe you'll be in a forest, it doesn't matter. Visualise what you want to dream about and how it will feel and imagine yourself in that situation. Imagine that the dream is all around you, even though you're set, technically still awake. Um, and really visualise, and not just with one sense either, I want you to use all of your senses. 
when you imagine this dream. So I want you to imagine what the smells will be like, what what you'll see, how it will feel. Imagine the breeze going through your hair or whatever it is. Just use all of your senses and really imagine yourself vividly in that place. Okay, so the third one is reality checks. Now this can be done alongside your affirmations throughout the day. Uh, and I'd recommend doing it like this. So if you haven't already been shown a reality check, I'll very quickly go through what they are. Reality check is where you test your reality and ask yourself if you're dreaming or not. You combine this with a physical action. So an example is you push, you try and push a finger through your palm and you expect the finger to go through the palm, right? Now, in waking life, now, if you do this, it will always feel the same. You'll always have the resistance of your palm and your finger will never go through your hand, hopefully, right? Whereas in a dream, it always will. Because if you expect it to happen, if you think this is going to go through my palm, it will. And that's how you you will be able to realise you're dreaming using that reality check. <clears throat> now there are lots of reality checks you can use. Uh, that's probably the most effective one, so I'd recommend to start with that one. So throughout the day, at various given times, maybe every two hours, every hour, whatever, more than 10 times throughout the day, I want you to do this reality check, try and push your finger through your palm, and ask yourself as you're doing this, am I dreaming? Look around you, look at the things, look in detail at everything around you, and try and logically think, is this, does this feel right? Is this normal? Am I dreaming? And eventually, that will happen in a dream. You'll be in a dream, you'll be walking along, and suddenly you'll think, oh, I should probably do a reality check now, let me try You'll do it, your finger will go through your palm, you might freak out at first. You'll look around and you'll think, oh, well I must be dreaming. And then you become lucid. So that's a reality check in a nutshell. Do those throughout the day, 10 to 20 times a day. Space them out and make sure that you do them. Whenever you experience something strange or unusual, right? So if you experience something that you don't normally see every day, do a reality check then. Or, and I should say and, do it as soon as you wake up in the morning because this is the most likely time that you'll have say a false awakening where you dream about waking up so if you do a reality check then it's much more likely to make you lucid also do them just before you go to bed that's quite a good time as well and that's it that's step three step four last step is dream recall so in order to have a mild uh, mnemonic induced lucid dream you need to have good dream recall, which means you need to be able to remember your dreams uh, in a good way. You, know, you need to remember a good number of dreams and vividly as well. So a good way of improving your dream recall, and it's a very simple way, start writing your dreams down. I'm sure you'd already do this if you follow this channel. Uh, and make sure that you highlight important details in, the dream, in your dream journal. Look for dream signs. You can also take a, a supplement called vitamin B6. This will help you uh, with your dream recall, it, improve, it will improve your memory. Um, and there's also some other supplements you can take as well, like uh, Lucidesque, which I'm going to put a link to in the description down below. Um, you can also try using um, meditation techniques. I'm just trying to keep this as simple as possible for those who might not want to watch a huge long video. Um, so you can use meditation techniques, you can focus, you can use what's called a dream anchor. This is another one. Um, so say if you have an object in your room, like um, a water bottle, right? You always keep it at the end of your bed. And let's say it's a green water bottle, like mine. Now every time you see that bottle, tell yourself, every time I see this water bottle, I will, rem I will remember my dreams. And what it does is it forms a link in your subconscious mind. Uh, and this is sort of like a basic... NLP technique, Neuro Linguistic Programming, which means um, that it's going to link seeing the bottle with remembering your dreams, so that over time, the stronger this connection becomes, uh, it'll help you more and more. So every time you see the bottle, after a while, you won't even need to tell yourself that, you'll just immediately start remembering more dreams just by looking at the bottle. So there are lots of ways you can improve dream recall, uh, and the basics, the basics of this is by doing all four of these things. The affirmations, the visualization, the reality checks, and the dream recall, you will have natural lucid dreams over time. And this sort of blurs the lines with the dial, the dream induced lucid dream. And they're very similar techniques, but just for specific specificity, 
this is the mild, the mnemonic induced lucid dream. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, check out my links down below, and I'll see you next time.